Hey guys, welcome to our next JavaScript challenge. And as promised, we will gonna repeat one more challenge that we did before. However, in this case, we're gonna be using the set data structure. And the challenge that we're repeating is the one where we were looking for the unique values. So we had a function and then we passed in a string. And if all the values were unique, then we return true. And if some values were duplicate, like let's say in this case where we have A and D that are going to be duplicate, then we're going to return false. As always, if you would like to come up with your own solutions, just pause the video. And if you have a better solution, or in general, if you just want to share your solution, just add it to the comments so we all can know what would be your way of actually finding your solution. All right, so let's start working. Like I said, we will going to work with a set data structure. So I'm going to start very simply by creating that data structure. So I'm going to say temp string will be equal to a new set. Now, what's unique about set data structure that it only accepts unique values, meaning if you're trying to pass something that's already in there, it will not be accepted, meaning there's only going to be unique values that you're getting. And the way we can do that, I can say, all right, so why don't we create a for of loop? And that way I'm going to be looping through the string and each and every iteration I'm going to check. Hey, listen, is the value is the letter that I'm currently have in my iteration? Is it already in a set? If it is, then I'm going to return false. Other than that, I will going to add that letter to my new temp string. So I'm going to say, all right, so let letter and that will going to be each and every letter in my iteration. Then I'm going to say I will going to be iterating over a string that's being passed in. And like I said, first, I would want to check if the set already has this letter. Now, the key with the set is that it has different methods. So it has a method of has where I can do like this. I can say, all right, so temp string, since it is a set, has a method of has where it checks does that set has that particular value. Now, in our case, we're going to be checking each and iteration. So we're going to pass in here the letter. So if that is the case, we're going to return false. Like I said, we're going to say, all right, so this will be false. Other than that, we're going to use the method of not push what we would use on the array, but with the set, we would need to use the method of add. So I can say temp string add, and then I'm just going to be adding the letter. So if the letter is not there, then obviously we're just going to add that letter. However, if the letter is there, then we're going to return false. And other than that, we're going to return true. So if everything goes smoothly and we don't have the repeating letters, then we shouldn't run the false to begin with. And we're just going to be adding each and every letter to the set. And at the end of the day, we can just return true. So the moment I'm going to run the function, I'm going to say, all right, so I have true because obviously these are going to be all unique values. And then the second one will be false because we are already duplicating. And since we now know how we can work with a set data structure, why don't we do a one clever one liner? So the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to keep this for your record. So I'm just going to comment this out. And the way we can do that, in fact, as we're setting up the set, I can just pass in here the string. And this automatically will going to evaluate each and every value that is duplicate. And those are not going to be included. So the way we can do that is we can write, in fact, return. Then I'm going to say, all right, so there will going to be a new set. Now, I don't need to assign this to a variable because within the return, I'm right away going to be checking whether the return will be a true or false. So I can say, okay, new set, pass the string, and then say if this will going to be equal to a length of a string. Now, since this is a set, again, there will going to be a different method. For the length, we're going to use the size. And we're going to set it equal to string length. And that's it. If the values are going to be obviously equal, then we're going to be returning true. Other than that, we're going to be returning to false. So as you can see, we have true or we can have, have false. So this is going to be one clever one liner where we can just check it right away without pushing anything, without checking any value or anything like that. 